Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the full review of the Chanel bag that I unboxed this month on my channel. I am so excited to show you guys all the ins and outs of this bag. It is so beautiful, it's so unique, and it's just something that I've always dreamed of having. So I'm really excited to share this one with you. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Alyssa. I always love to come on here and talk about luxury handbags. If that's something you're interested in, you are definitely in the right place. So feel free to subscribe down below, click that little red button. I'd love to have you join this little community here with me. So that being said, let's get into the video. So I'm gonna show you this bag bag. This is the Chanel CC Turnlock flap bag in the size medium. This is from the 2019 Carl Lagerfeld collection and it is just stunning. It has the diamond quilted lambskin leather. It has the cinched sides similar to the Chanel classic flap. It has this gorgeous turn lock. It has silver with the gold here and then you'll see it has mixed metals. So it has gold on this side and silver on this side and it has Chanel engraved on each side and then the chain strap can be worn crossbody or as a shoulder bag. I much prefer it as a shoulder bag but it has the mixed metals of gold and silver and then it has this beautiful leather strap on top. So this bag is so comfortable to wear. It is really lightweight. It's this beautiful, decadent feeling lambskin. This is the back. It is in perfect condition. This is from 2019 and it was pre-loved. I did get it from The Real Real and I have a whole video talking about how I got this bag for such a great price and unboxing this bag. So I will link that in the description box below but I had been wanting a beige shoulder bag for so long, and I finally found this one. I love the mixed metals. I'm gonna try to, to show you how beautiful this closure is, but I know the lights are kind of blaring on it, but it just doesn't even do it justice to see it on camera than it is in person. It's just so different, but you turn it, and it unlocks and then you just pop it open and then you have more lambskin on the inside. I am using this bag so I do have it stuffed but I have an insert in here that I got on Amazon and it just fits perfectly. It was so affordable. I will link that too but the inside is very spacious. You can fit a ton in here and because it's so tall it definitely adds more real estate. I'm going to put the dimensions in the description box too just in case you are looking at a similar bag in the size medium. I know Chanel has so many different variations of the flat bag but this really fits a lot. I would say it's too wide to wear as a crossbody for me anyway. I prefer it as a shoulder bag and also I'm going to get into the straps in a bit but the straps are just way too long for me. But on the inside it is all beige like a cloth material and then behind here there is a pocket. It doesn't have a zipper. I'll show you when I take everything out, but I'll show you what I have in it right now. So I have my Chloe sunglasses. This is like a pretty bulky case. And then I have my Gucci wallet. I have a hand sanitizer and then I have two lip products. I can also fit my keys and my phone along with that, but this is what it looks like with the insert. So it fits perfectly. However, the insert does kind of take up some of the width. It does kind of, you lose some of that space with this in here. However, I really wanted to keep the cloth in there clean and this kind of helps keep the shape. But on the inside, you'll see it has this back pocket and this back pocket still has a sticker on it and it says Chanel. And then it has this nice large opening and then it also has a back zipper pocket too, which is cool. It's like a secret pocket back there. And then it's just one large opening and it does have the little date code all the way in the front right corner and it's about an eight digit number I believe and it's stamped it has the Chanel logo on there so that's always something you should look for if you're buying a Chanel bag pre-loved or anything like that but I do want to talk about the straps a little bit before I show you what fits so if you are in the market for a Chanel bag you should always look at the strap drop the Chanel bags they vary so much in how long their crossbody straps are so this one is way too long for me. If you pull it 
to wear it as a crossbody, I will show you what it looks like. I'm five foot two and it's just ridiculously long. So I would never wear it as a crossbody. It just, it's not compatible with me. However, if you are taller, you definitely could, but it's just something for you to keep in mind. If you are looking for a bag that does both, this would not be a choice for me, but I do love it as a shoulder bag. So I'll show you what it looks like on me and then I'll show you everything that fits. So this is what it looks like as a crossbody and it's abnormally long. Like my hips are up here and it's just like, I couldn't even, it's all the way down here. It just looks ridiculous in my opinion. It's just like way too long. However, if you were taller, it would definitely look nicer. Like I wish it was like up here, but as a shoulder bag, it works great. So you just pull these. As a shoulder bag, it is still pretty long, but I actually prefer that. And it just hangs right here, right above my hip. So I definitely recommend the medium size as a shoulder bag, but if you're looking for it to be crossbody, you just make sure you're looking at the dimensions because this was way surprisingly long on me. Other bags that are cross that are meant to be crossbody like the Chanel Square Mini Crossbody, this strap is so much shorter and actually looks way more proportionate on me. So I almost was kind of expecting it to be shorter because my small flat bag, the crossbody strap is way shorter. It almost hits me above my hip. So you just have to be careful if you are looking for it to lay a certain way on you because they're not adjustable and you can't take them off. So, however, I'm so happy with this bag because I love it as a shoulder bag. I just, I'm obsessed with the mix my Metals. I, I can't stop looking at them. This bag is pretty unique. It is pretty difficult to find this exact one. However, I did find one that is navy blue from Fashion File. I will link that in the description box below and any other ones that I can find. I can't promise that I will have this exact one, but I'm going to show you what fits in it for your reference in case you're looking at a different medium flap bag and in case this one does come up. So I'm going to put the insert back in and just show you how I would actually stuff it. So I'm gonna put my sunglasses back in here and then I'm gonna add my keys. They're pretty bulky and I'll show you what that looks like, like that. And then I have my Gucci wallet, which I'm gonna slide in the front and then a hand sanitizer. So this is what it looks like right now, pretty thick, but I'm also gonna add some lip products on top and then a mascara. And then this is the size of my phone. I have the 12 Pro and this would also fit. So the good thing is you can lay it on top or you could try to squeeze it in the side. I'm gonna lay it on top just to show you that it closes. So fits perfectly. The great thing about this bag is that it's so tall. Like I literally have my phone up here and I do like that you can fit so much. I mean, it is kind of heavy how I have it stuffed right now. It's kind of a lot, but the one con about this bag, and I don't know if other Chanel bags do this, I have a patent leather one that does not do this, but since it's lambskin, it's very gentle and it does have these flaps kind of coming out, which I'm not super crazy about. However, I'm dealing with it. I think the more you stuff it, the more that they kind of pop out like that, which isn't great, but it is what it is. However, even when it wasn't stuffed, it was kind of doing that. And I wonder if it's just because this is a pre-owned bag and it is what it is. But that would be the one con that I would say about this bag. I think because it is lambskin, it is a little bit worrisome that it's going to get scratched, but I haven't had any issues with it. Like even getting it pre-loved, it has no scratches on it at all. It doesn't have any like miscoloration. I've been wearing it with jeans and it's kind of been like rubbing on the top of my jeans when I wear it as a shoulder bag if I have high rise jeans on and it has not gotten any color transfer, which is great. I love that about a bag. I hate having a high maintenance bag, especially when they're so expensive. I don't wanna have to clean it with leather cleaner or figure out what I'm gonna use to clean it. So this has been a really 
really nice, durable, supple leather bag. And it's just so beautiful. It can be dressed up. It can be dressed down. I love the mixed metals. It really reminds me of the Chanel 19, which is stunning. However, I'm really into the unique Chanel flat bags or different variations of the bags because it's kind of that exclusivity factor that not everybody has it. And I love buying pre-loved. I love vintage pieces as well. So it's just kind of that uniqueness for me that really drew me to this bag. So before I end this video, I am going to rate this bag. I have been using it for the past month and I've just been loving it. So I would rate this bag a 9 out of 10 simply because of these pop-ups like why is this happening with a Chanel bag I don't love that but I can I can deal with it I can live with it I mean if that's what it's gonna do I'm gonna wear the bag I'm not gonna baby it I bought it to wear it that type of thing but it's not it's not what you expect out of a Chanel bag so and that is kind of a con of this. However, I love this as a shoulder bag. I would also say if you are somebody who wanted it as a crossbody, I would give it a little bit less of a rating because of that lack of versatility. If you're looking for a bag that can do crossbody and shoulder bag, for me, this one is just out of the question for a crossbody. It's only shoulder bag for me, but that is what I bought it for. So it's just something to keep in mind if you are in the market for a medium-sized Chanel bag. So if you are looking for for a Chanel bag, I would highly recommend to look on the pre-loved market. There are so many different styles that you can find that are unique, but classic at the same time, and they're not going to be $7,000 like the classic flaps are right now. So if you're interested in how I got a discount on this bag, I will link the unboxing video down below. I will link as many as I can find of this variation of bag and any other cool unique ones that you might be interested in that are the same size. But I really appreciate you clicking on this video and watching and supporting this channel. So it really means the world to me. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.